Hello, 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 hello. So there's the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So we are live. Um, I just felt like to talk about something very important today. It's going to be amazing. Uh, uh, it's going to be awesome. As you can see, it's going to be about how to be uh, how to cast out demons out of your children. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Uh, if you are a parent, uh, you know, tune in and share this video with somebody else because it's very important. I'm telling you, it's very important. You gotta understand, it's real, it's amazing. All right, all right. So, I have a scripture we're gonna open, but way before we do that, let's just pray. Let's just welcome the Holy Spirit, Father God. We give you praise, we thank you for this moment, God. We we worship your name, Jesus. We thank you so much for your glory, for your power. God, I thank you for revelation. I thank you, God, even now that your spirit will move. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will give us the proper understanding, give us the wisdom, God, so that we can share with someone that is watching right now. God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. <clears throat> Uh, we have a scripture very important um, Matthew chapter 17 verses 14 through uh, 21 grab your Bible let's get to it it's very important if you have kids you're gonna need this teaching it's very important I'm telling you you're gonna need it trust me all right so Matthew chapter 17 verses uh, 14 through 21 so let me just quickly talk about uh, this chapter real quick. So now, you guys know Jesus went to the mountain. Uh, he took Peter, James, and John. So he went, and that's when he transfigured. Uh, and that's when Moses and Elijah appeared to him. So as soon as he's done, he was coming down from the mountain. Now, he noticed there was a lot of commotion that was happening. So, and the disciple... Um, so a lot of people came to him, you know, pretty much they were not uh, able to do, you know, to cast out a demon out of a, a little child. So that's what we're going to read. Matthew 17 verses 14. He said that, and when they had come to the multitude, and uh, he's talking about Jesus and the disciples, which is John, Peter, and James. He said that, and when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely. For, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. They could not heal them. But Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless, perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the, the demon, and he came out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciple came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, Listen to this. This is the first key. Because of, of your unbelief, for assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and you will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So very important. Very important. So now, notice what happened. So um, the Jesus came down from the mountain and as soon as he came so he noticed there was a commotion that was happening where uh there was a young a young boy uh he was demon dem he has a demon and uh the demon causes him to be um uh, to be tormented now next thing you know um when the disciple uh, uh, when they brought him, the the brought the the uh, the the boy that that is uh, has the demon in him, and they could not cast it out. The disciple could not cast the demon out of the boy. And the Bible said that the uh, uh, the, the father of the boy said to Jesus, 
uh, we brought it, we brought him to your disciple that could not cast him out. And Jesus said that, uh, Jesus responded, he said, Oh, faithless and perverse generation. He said, How long will I be with you? And how long shall I be with you? He said, Bring him, bring him here. And the Bible said, verse 18, he said, When Jesus rebuked the demon and he came out of him and the child was cured from that very moment. So notice the, the cause of that sickness was not a natural cause. The cause of that sickness was a demon that was tormented that little boy. So we have to really understand that. Because uh, oftentimes, you don't want to deal with, you don't want to be in a situation when you are dealing with a supernatural uh, thing in the, in, in the natural. So you will lose this fight. You will lose it. So that's the reason why Jesus understood, you know, you have to have faith in order for you to really uh, move or to rebuke this demon, to cast it out. So the disciple could not. But if you notice something in that scripture, um, the father said that uh, every time that happens, every time the demon manifests and come up, like the demon begin to manifest, the demons make some suffer. And then the second thing, he, all, he, he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So the demon constantly trying to kill that, that young boy. The demon is constantly trying to kill that young boy. But Jesus came with just one word and Jesus rebuked the demon. So now, I have five important steps I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you guys that we have to be mindful of. Okay, five very important things. So how to cast that demons out of your children. Very, very important. So Ephesians 4 27, the Bible says that and he said, and give no opportunity to the devil. So what is he saying here? He said, don't give no ways to the enemy. Because if you're not being careful, you can open up doors to the devil. And the Bible says, give no way, give no opportunity to the enemy. Because the devil is looking for an opportunity to enter, to come. So we have to be careful. The devil doesn't care if you have the understanding. He doesn't care if you are ready to be a parent. He doesn't care if you are ready to, to be a guardian. He doesn't care. He just wants to come and take advantage of your children. So you have to really be mindful and you have to be the guardian. Because a lot of time people don't really understand that. You know, you don't just have a kid. You have to be a parent on a way where you have to be someone that will protect your children. First of all, you got to learn how to pray because those, your, those, your children, they are under your care. You have to really understand that. So now the first thing that you have to watch for the first sign, you need to be careful whenever like uh, you, you will encounter evil spirit is just something called inherited curses. So inherited curses is something uh, according to Deuteronomy 5, 9, uh, the third, the Lord your God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children on the third and fourth generations. So notice what he says. He just said that, he just said that he will uh, hold uh, that children accountable, the third and the fourth generation. It's very important. Very important. So we have to really understand that. Jesus, first of all, he said the inherited curses gave the devil legal right. God has allowed that. God has allowed it because um, uh, people can receive demons. The kids can receive demons through inherited curses. So we have to be careful. People that practice witchcraft, people that practice uh, the occult, you have to be careful because that will open up doors to demons to attack your children. Then the second thing that we have to be mindful of is something called prenatal rejection. So notice in, in Luke uh, 11, 11, 5, right? Uh, John, will, John was already filled with the Holy Spirit, yet in his mother's womb. So if, if someone is able to be filled by the Holy Spirit, it's the same way. Someone, even though they are in their stomach, in the mother's stomach, they can be, they can still be victimized. They can still receive demons from there. So that's why we have to be careful, uh, especially you know when you're pregnant. This is when you are, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. The child in the womb 
subject to spiritual influence. Just like um, when John the Baptist, when uh, Elizabeth was pregnant with and pregnant with uh, with John the Baptist, Mary came with Jesus while she was pregnant with Jesus. Guess what? And the Bible said that you know the baby lit inside of his stomach, inside of her stomach. So that is very important. So you know you have to even even in the womb you have to be careful. You know I mean? even in the womb you got to be careful not to allow the enemy to attack your children inside of your womb. That's the reason why you have to be careful. You got to make sure that you pray. You have to anoint your stomach. You got to stay in prayer. Uh, always pray good things over yourself. Pray good things over your baby. That, that is in your stomach. Okay, this is a perfect example. Another thing, another way that demon can attack a children is what you call emotional environment. So it is very important, guys. Emotional environment. So the overall emotional environment has an impact upon the developing child within the womb so it's very important you got to know that so especially we have a lot of um you know a lot of teen you know parents where they they, they did not set up they did not um you know they did not they were not ready to have kids you know evil spirit are given they, they are ready to attack they are ready whenever you know that that, that kids is is you know the the, the young teenage Girls get pregnant, next thing you know, they want to abort the baby, you know what I'm saying? Like the father walks away. It's it's a lot of things, you know. And the, the enemy will take uh will use that time, will use this opportunity to enter to uh, that child even in the womb. That's the reason why sometimes we, we have kids being born with different kind of things, being born with rejection, with all kind of things. That's very important. We need to really have this knowledge. Even even a, uh, even a child can 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 have a sort of death because especially when they when they're trying to abort the kid, uh, the sort of death will attack that 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 child. You know what I'm saying? So that's very important. And another thing, another way that demon can attack a child, it's what you call the mother's addiction. It is very important. It is well known that children can be harmed physically from the addictive habits of the mother. And children may even be be born with addiction. That is so prevalent. That's so that's common in, in the whole world. You guys know that. I said that if you if you know someone that's like uh they 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 have uh, addiction problems. So what is going to happen? The, the children can be born with the, with the same addiction. The children can be born with some spirit of alcoholism. So the demon, uh, the, the the child can be born with those things because the mother, you know, the womb is very important. Well, the kid is not safe in the womb, so that is so important. Another way that demon can come, uh, can attack a child is to birth in complications. So Genesis chapter one verse twenty eight, the Bible said, "Be fruitful and multiply." So one other thing you need to understand: Satan is after to devour. The Satan does not want anyone to be born into this world because this is a command. God wants uh, God wants the earth to be multiplying, but guess what? The devil does not want that. So that's the reason why the enemy will always attack. Satan will always attempt to attack to destroy life, to harm mother or a child through birthing complications so it's very important guys it's so important we must have this knowledge we must have this understanding because the bible said my people are perfect for lack of knowledge if you don't know you will be victimized by that you know what i mean so it's very plain where matthew 17 where um the bible talks about you know what the, the little boy has a demon he has a demon like just like a seizure kind of thing and that's thing you know every time that that boy keep seizing and I say, you know, you keep throwing him into the fire, into water, trying to destroy him. You know what I mean? So it's very important. You have to, to be mindful of that because it is very important to really understand that, you know, uh, as a parent, you have to stand in the gap. As a parent, it's your job, it's your duty to really, you know, stand, stand in the gap to pray, you know, to petition for your children, to rebuke, to cast out demons because you have that power even when you're pregnant. Even now, you have, even when you are a mother, when you are carrying a child, you have to lay hands over your stomach. You have to pray. You have to declare over your, over your child child that is in your womb because i'm telling you womb is it's, it's it should be protected should be a place of refuge should be a place of peace but you have to really have this knowledge you have to really understand that because 
the enemy will try to uh, find an opportunity to to attack so i just wanted to share uh, this with you guys you know so these are the ways where a demon can attack a children so the way to cast out those demons is by you uh, as parents you have to really know your authority in christ you have to really uh, pray covered by the blood of jesus because god has entrusted you as parents to be the one that has to watch over your children to be the one that has to be the one that will have to wage war against the enemy because especially the kids they don't know they're innocent right but the devil doesn't care the devil will try and look for an opportunity to counter attack while they are in that stage when they don't really know much that's when the devil will come to attack but as parent you have to stand uh, in the gap to pray to to protect them because that's what god's called parents to be guardian so you're supposed to guard you're supposed to protect right so that's the way it is so um um make sure that you exercise your spiritual authority to pray to rebuke every spirit that is not of god so let us pray to pray let's pray for the kids right now Father God, we give you praise. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, even now. God, we come against every spirit that is out of God. I come against every demon that is attacking our children. We break every power, even in the womb. We cancel every spirit right now in the name of Jesus. We cast out every spirit of witchcraft. We cast out, oh God, every demons, every powers, anything that is attacking our children. We come against them right now in the name of Jesus. God, you said in your word, good is he that is in us than he that is in the world. For did not give us a spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind got up I speak right now to anyone, oh God, any parents that is watching this video, I break, Father God, I release the anointing of God right now to break every spirit that is not of God, every spirit of God that is not of God, that is, has attacked those children, has been attacking those kids, oh God, even now, in the name of Jesus, I come in every spirit that is not of God, loose your grip right now, loose them right now, in the name of Jesus, and let them go by the authority of the Holy Ghost, let them go right now, in the name of Jesus, I break this power, I reverse that power, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, you are the great I am, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. So God, I declare freedom over any children right now, God, that are going through anything, that are facing through any that are facing anything right now. We cancel, God, the power of the enemy. We cancel God every spirit that is out of God even now. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, all right. I hope you were blessed. God bless you. You have a wonderful day. Uh, have a good night. God